Hey students, my name is John. Normally, I'm creating videos for your teachers. I help teachers use technology in the classroom. Now, a bunch of them asked me to put together a video for students to help you get the most out of Google Classroom. Now, because of COVID, coronavirus, we're spending a whole lot more time on the internet, learning and completing assignments. I'm gonna show you some hidden features of Google Classroom and help you get the most out of this useful tool so you can get your work done as quickly as possible. Let's take a look. We're gonna start by talking about the Classroom homepage. Now there's a couple ways that you can get here. Perhaps you're gonna use the old Google Waffle up here and click on the Google Classroom icon. You're certainly welcome to do that. You can also visit classroom.google.com and here we are. Now, the very first time you come here, usually at the beginning of the school year, your teacher is going to want you to enter the class code to join your class. You're going to click up here in the top right, click that plus button, and say join class. Now, they're going to give you the code to type in here, and that'll get you into the class. Once you do that, your class uh, will be displayed right here. You have all these different cards. Um, now, on this page, there's a couple other useful things that I want to point out. Um, up here at the top, we've got these two uh, cool features, uh, the to-do and calendar page. Now, if you click on to-do, you're going to see a list of all the assignments that you have, and you can look at ones that are coming up, ones that are missing, and even your past assignments that have been graded and returned to you. Now, some of you will like the to-do page. Others, you may prefer the calendar page. Now, it's the same basic thing. It just puts it in a calendar view. So perhaps you're uh, you know, a football player, you're on a soccer team, you've got practice or games coming up, and so you want to look at it ahead, see what's uh, on your schedule. You can see when those assignments are going to be due. You can flip forward and back in the calendar and plan your schedule accordingly. So that's a little sneak peek at the classroom homepage. Let's go ahead and click on a class and take a look. Welcome to the stream page. This is the entry point in Google Classroom. When you click on a class card, this is where you're going to end up. Right now we're on the stream page. In just a minute, we're going to head over to the classwork page and look at some assignments. Now the stream page is where your teacher will be posting announcements. That's what this is right here. There's no due dates. There's nothing you have to do here. This is just information that you should be aware of. Now, if your teacher allows it, you will also have the ability to add a class comment. You and all of your classmates and your teacher will be able to see these. Um, it's important to recognize that nothing in Google Classroom is anonymous. Anything that you post will have your name attached to it. So don't be dumb. Don't say uh, anything inappropriate or you might get yourself in trouble. The last thing you'll notice on this page is that you will see your uh, recent or upcoming assignments posted here. We can actually click on either of these assignments. It would take us right into the details for that assignment where we can learn more about it. That's the introduction to the stream. Let's head over to the classwork page and take a look at some assignments. Welcome to the classwork page. This is where you'll be spending most of your time and where all of your assignments will be posted. Let me show you a couple helpful features. First off, you'll probably see a couple things that look like this. These are topics. Topics are like folders. They organize your assignments. Now, your teacher might do them by week, chapter, unit. That's really up to them. Inside of your topic are your assignments. We can see this uh, topic has five assignments. Uh, we've got a material post that's just a resource. This is an assignment, a discussion question, and two more assignments. Now, let me explain why some of them are gray and some of them are orange. The gray assignments are done. Check. The orange assignments, or whatever the accent color is in your class, are still to do. So that's where I'm going to want to focus my time. So anything that's in gray, you did. You finished. It's over. Now, over on the left, you'll see some filters. If you are currently in week three and you don't want to be distracted uh, by, you know, these different assignments down here, you can always just click on week three over on the left, and that'll only show you the week three assignments and more information. Go back to all topics if you want to see everything. Last thing I want to point out are a couple of, of links up at the top that are helpful. Uh, you can look at your to-do list by clicking there. And if your class is meeting virtually, you'll see a link to the virtual classroom in Google Meet. And then you have access to Google Drive and Calendar over on the right. Now, we're spending some time here on the classwork page. We need to actually do an assignment. So we're going to click on one of those assignments that are yet to be done and take a closer look. A 
All right, it's time to turn in our first assignment. Now, I'm still here on the classwork page. Here's the assignment that I'm going to be submitting. Now, when you click on the assignment, it'll open up. You'll see the details for that assignment. But it's important to make sure that you click View Assignment to see all the details. We'll see your instructions, how many points it's worth, when it's due, your attachments, and a bunch of other things. Um, you have two comment boxes. You have class comments. That's where you can post a question to your fellow classmates. And then you have private comments. Anything you type over here in the private comment box will go straight to your teacher. You can ask them for more time, ask a question about the assignment, and they'll reply right there uh, as well. Now, this assignment has an attachment. You can see right up here, this has a document attached. Sometimes your teacher will give you a document or something to complete type in that's what we have here so we would open this up and um, fill this out that's our work um, that's not always the case though sometimes it'll be empty and you'll need to create a document so you can click this add or create button we can create a new google document presentation spreadsheet or drawing you can also attach something from your drive account upload uh, a file like a pdf or a picture um, and add a link to another website. So your teacher will give you instructions about which one of these that you should be using, and you'll attach your work uh, if directed. Now, once you've completed your assignment, very important, Google's not smart enough to know that you did your work. You have to click the Turn In button. Uh, your assignment is not done until you actually turn it in. Uh, this is just like a sheet of paper. If you do your homework, but you don't take it out of your backpack and give it to your teacher, it doesn't count. Same thing here. If you don't submit it, it doesn't count either. So we want to make sure we submit it. You can see that's done now. It'll say turned in. Um, now, if you forgot something, you can unsubmit, but when you do that, you might be marked as late. If you unsubmit and resubmit after the deadline, your assignment will be marked as late. So do that very, very carefully and cautiously. Congratulations. You turned in your first assignment. Now we're going to go back to the classwork page. I'm going to click on the name of the class, head to classwork. And the last thing we're going to do together is complete our discussion questions. We're going to look at that one and that'll wrap us up for the day. Your teacher will probably ask you to participate in a class discussion. Anytime you see this question mark, that tells you a discussion has been posted. It can be multiple choice or free response. Let's click on it and it'll open up some of the details to see all of the information and submit our response. We need to click on view question just like we do on an assignment. And you'll see three boxes in this area. We have the class comments if your teacher has enabled that, the private comments where you can ask a question to your teacher, and then finally, this is the important one, your answer. Now, if you type your response here or here, that's not going to go well. Um, it won't submit the assignment. So we don't want to put our response there, not there. You want to actually type your response up in this your answer box and then click that turn in button. That will actually mark the assignment as done and your teacher will receive your discussion post. Well, that's all I have for you. That's an overview of Google Classroom. Not everything, but enough to get you started. Thanks for watching. Have a great school year.